How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be tattooing my clan for the next 20 plus hours, and it's gonna be insane. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. When my client submitted her application, she wanted a half sleeve from the knee down, but I want to suggest an outer leg sleeve just because I know it's going to look amazing and she's going to be able to rock it, you know, with her clothes. She's going to be able to be fashionable with this. So I'm going to suggest it and hopefully she's open to the idea. My name is Riz Gutierrez and I am a police officer. So I work for the school district. Um, we get in, we make sure at arrivals, you know, everything looks good, everything's safe. On top of their safety, we usually like to mentor kids too. So I really enjoy that. I really, I play basketball with them. They come up to me, we have secret handshakes. So I really do enjoy being with the kids there and also making them safe. Like I know you wanted the goddess Athena, but one more did you have in mind? We can do like Zeus too, since okay. it connects. And okay. then her, the owl, and then okay. Medusa like on her shield. Okay. So any Greek theme, but her, I want her to be like the main focus. The main one, yeah, but exactly. Yeah. But okay, that makes sense. I'm glad you. That, that's why, like for the upper, I don't know either. Okay. But we'll go from there, like. No, for we now. can we can set it up. So that is a good. That was a good setup. As a lower half sleeve, I like it a lot. You know, the thing is, okay. that for me, visually, yeah, looks better as an outer. Oh, you you saying outer sleeve? You know. <laughs> then let's do it. Let's do it. You're, see, I trust you. Like. <laughs> You have the vision yeah. for it, you know? No, I mean? and I see it. Like, I'm like, it just looks so dope. Like, yeah. for me, outer sleeves are a project that you just get to showcase. What you think? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Look at that face. Dude, that detail. The detail on. Oh! Let's do it. <laughs> I'm just so excited and super happy that she was open to the idea of the outer leg sleeve. She trusted me, no hesitation. She said, let's do it. And I am excited because it's going to look amazing. Consultation was amazing. I have gotten a few tattoos. I have a full arm sleeve and I'm from Vegas. So I flew here to Phoenix and the way I used to get consultations was, all right, you have a full day session, come at this time. We're gonna go through a design real quick and that's it, then we're gonna start the session. This one, I like it is because you get a full day of just Kevin just knowing, getting to know you and what you want. He, is, he interviews you so he makes sure that the piece that you are getting relates to you and it's what you truly want. And he makes suggestions based off that. Plus to top it off, free breakfast. I just can't, you know what? Free breakfast and <laughs> Good design, that's all I have to say. <laughs> yeah. I get here, again, greeted with a breakfast sandwich. This guy made sure like, hey, you have some nutrition, We're gonna, it's gonna be a long day. I was very excited then, so after I ate, and then he was like, all right, are we ready? I get to the table, and now I'm nervous. Cause I'm like, this is really happening. Now it actually really hit. So I was excited and nervous. Day one, the approach that I'm gonna be taking is doing the thigh area first because this is the long session and I need her full of energy. Day two, she's gonna be a little bit more tired, so that's gonna be a, a shorter session. Another reason why I'm doing the thigh area first, it is because if I was to do the bottom first, on the second day, it was gonna be very uncomfortable for my client if, and I had to wipe down, so I was eventually going to irritate some areas of the bottom tattoo and it was gonna be painful. To execute the statue, I'm gonna be using a 14 round liner so I can be able to achieve that texture that I need to make it look like stone on the face area, on the beard area. So I'm gonna take my time to do my blacks, my contrast, my grays, and my highlights. And it's gonna look like it's made out of stone. On the areas that have solid black and background, I'm gonna be using an 11 curve mag and a 17 curve mag. And of course, with the 5.0 voltage. Doing the beer is definitely tricky because I have to make sure that I have the right amount of contrast. Because if I add too much black, you're not gonna be able to tell what it's what and it's gonna get lost in within all the shading. But if I don't use enough contrast, the beer is gonna look super flat and what we need for the beer is to look aggressive with contrast and highlights and texture.
Uh, the back of the knee is juicy. The back of the knee, anything in the back, I felt it way more. He asked me <laughs> to switch position so he can get on the back. So I ended up having to be on my stomach and the back part I was feeling, it was, it was stinging, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe when he hit the back part, I was clenching too much and I was on my stomach. So I was kind of napping. Then he told me like, hey, well you can get up now and you can go check it out. So I think I got up too fast. So I went in the mirror, saw it, and all of a sudden as I'm walking back, my vision started to kind of get dark and I started to feel dizzy. And I was like, ooh, what is, I've never felt that before. What is going on? So I sat on the couch real quick and still, I thought it would go away, but it didn't. So I turned to Kevin and I was like, hey, I think I need a fruit snack. And this guy sprinted so freaking fast to get me a Coke and a fruit snack. A full on sprint. As he was sprinting back, he opens this Coke. It kind of spills everywhere and gives it to me right away. And with that type of care, like again, top tier service, like he knows what can happen. He knew what to do because if he didn't, I could have fainted. So to him, he saw the signs and he's like, oh, I know what's going on. Got me what I needed and it prevented me from fainting. So I just had to chill back, you know, for a second. And he even he was like, hey, take your time. I wasn't rushed. It wasn't like, man, it's late. I got to go home. Like I did not feel rushed at all by this guy. And he, he works just so fast and efficient. Like if he schedules you for a full day session, you are getting a full day session and more. The only reason she almost passed out it is because when I turned her over on her stomach, laying down on your stomach, it's already hard enough. So your lungs are not expanding to receive oxygen. She got up way too fast and she wasn't controlling her breathing. The oxygen wasn't flowing. So of course she was almost about to pass out, but we cut it right on time and she she recovered so quick and she said let's do it you know a couple minutes later and I said all right well damn <laughs> I'm ready too As far as the face, I also got to make sure that I have contrast in there because I need those cheekbones to be able to stand out from afar. And the eye sockets, they got to look dark and aggressive and full of personality. I can't see myself going to another tattoo shop. So if you're fortunate enough to get picked by Kevin, take advantage because like I said, I have been tatted at other shops and the experience here is just top tier. I'm gonna have this on me forever. This is an experience I'll never forget. And just looking at it, I am, it's badass. That's, I mean. I got nightmares in my head, I fear. The thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety filling up every space, no privacy Day two, even though nearly fainting from this long session, I am so freaking excited. Like, I, I, I can't wait. Day one was extremely exciting, full of vibes, full of energy. It turned out amazing. Day two, I'm looking forward to finishing this project, tie everything together, make it look insane. Day two! Day two. Day two. How you feeling today? Good, good. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, like finally we get to finish this. <laughs> I can't oh. wait. Yesterday was the um, the long session. <laughs> Clearly. Today was. <laughs> <laughs> she almost passed out. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're gonna be cruising. <laughs> Satisfying. Shoo! Yes, sir. <laughs> that looks crazy. Oh, I like shit. it. I like it. Whew, I'm excited. I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna have you stand up. I want right. to see the whole thing.
The way I'm gonna be executing the face is using an 11 curve mag, but this time I'm gonna be using my true grays and treat it like gray wash. The voltage is gonna stay the same, but I'm gonna be feathering the face super slowly and make sure that it looks extremely smooth. The reason why I'm treating it like a gray wash, it is because I wanna separate the face from the helmet. The helmet, I wanna make it look like it's titanium. So I'm gonna be using a lot of grays, a lot of texture, a lot of whites to make sure that it looks like it's shiny. If I was to pack in the same grays that I pack on the helmet, I won't be able to separate the face from the helmet. And that is extremely important because once somebody sees it from afar, I want them to figure out what is what. Man, I can't remember the last time I feather a face to make it look smooth. It takes so much patience. I'm so used to the scribble technique where I just, you know, I'm so used to it that it doesn't require a lot of patience out of me. But feathering, man, I slowly. But with feathering, it, <laughs> it's so much, you need so much patience. I'm still running my machine at a 5.0 voltage to be able to execute the face area. So basically what I'm doing is slowly taking my time with my medium gray and feather it. Overall, it was great. 10 out of 10, for sure. From, again, I'm not from here. So flying in, that's a lot of trust. And I didn't think I was gonna be taken care of how I did. Again, that incident happened to me and he acted like a professional. Like, I'm a first responder and that was truly what I expect for us to do. He acted really quick. Um, I, was, I didn't faint because of him acting so quickly. What stuck out to me is Kevin really cares about his artwork. Talking to him, he doesn't care about money, he doesn't care about fame, he doesn't care about anything. Um, he's a truly, genuinely humble guy. Anybody could, could have came in here and be like, yo, I have 10 Gs, do this on me right now. And if he doesn't like the artwork, he's not gonna do it. So if you're fortunate enough to get work done by Kevin, Take it, take advantage. He truly cares about his work and not only his work, his, his uh, people around him. He's stopped so many times to be like, yo, I suggest you do this. He wants everyone in his shop to be successful. Not only Kevin, but everybody who works around him was so nice. The hospitality was amazing. So it's just a personality and vibe, like he's awesome. So whatever you see on YouTube, it's true, but add times 10. This project definitely fits my client and I think that's one of my favorite things because sometimes you put a piece on someone and it, it just, it, it's a dope tattoo but it doesn't fit the client. And my client was full of energy, she brought nothing but positive vibes and she definitely matched my energy too. <laughs> if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video and if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. So exciting. I feel official. I feel like a real tattoo artist right now. Oh, that was kind of smooth. Not even going to lie. I was... Her face is like... Damn. What the hell?